Good morning, everyone. Daniela here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to take this time to apologize for not making videos as frequent as I had been. Um, as many of you know, um, I went into um, treatment uh, right before Christmas um, and was in there for a little while, getting the help with my depression and anxiety. Um, coming out, again, I still didn't know what to expect or whatever or what everything you know, that I was going through. Sorry, I'm a little tongue twisted today. Uh, I almost forgot what it feels like to make a video. Um, Any hooser, um, I've done a couple videos since, but nothing really in depth or anything with my transition. So, well, I mean, some of it has been, but not not a lot of it. But um, so I wanted to take this time today to give you a little bit of an update of you know my life, um, as, you know, being transgender and everything like that. So, you know, being in treatment, every, I went to a place and they um, they didn't specialize in it, but they, they met my needs being transgender, um, letting everyone know, you know, so that was good. Coming out of treatment, um, I came home and things were a little rocky, um, but since I've come home, I've followed kind of through with my, um, my treatment plan, and um, one of the things is uh, currently, um, you know, I think I told you guys that I was diagnosed with bulimia. Um, to be able to have surgery, you know, um, whether it's breast augmentation or sex reassignment surgery, um, I have to have that under control. So I met with um, my plastic surgeon, and him and I talked, and you know, he said I want to be able to um, do this for you because you're a good candidate. I would love to do it, but I want you to be. I want bulimia to be uh, be under control. Um, and then I talked with my endocrinologist. And you know he said the same thing. He's like, you know, I want I want this to be under control. Um, I had a doctor's appointment last Monday with my doctor who um, helps me with um, bulimia, and she asked how the meds were working, and I said, um, they're they're working all right. They they're not the best or whatever. And so she goes, why don't we try up in the dosage a little bit? I've been I've up, I've been on them for about a week. You know the up dose. Um, and it seems to be all um, very working all right so far. Um, I will be honest; I haven't thrown up as much as I had been, so you know that's good. I'm making progress. Like when you're dealing with anything like this, um, baby steps. And you know, my main goal is to have the surgeries I need to to be complete. Um, there's a great uh, many resources out there. Um, I was just, you know, when you go through things, you, your mind just sometimes takes over. And I let my mind, you know, not see the goods and stuff that I had. So, you know, I'm one of those people who's fortunate to be on HRT, hormone um, replacement therapy. Um, I didn't want to throw that away either. Um, you know, one of the biggest stressors also is my job. People are like, well, if you don't like your job, just quit. And I'm like, well, I can't just quit. First of all, I have bills. Second of all, I get health insurance through my job that helps me get my medication and possible surgery, you know. So I can't just quit. You should never let anyone encourage you to quit your job. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm moving forward with my transition. You know, um, I got some good news that um, my breasts have actually developed a little bit more. Um, I'm going to be uh, a 34A currently in um, bra size. Um, so that means I have to get a couple new bras because I'm kind of, um, uh, they're not fitting right. So ship to Victoria's Secret. That'll be good. Um, what else? Oh, when I was in treatment, one of the things that I missed was shaving. Oh my god. You know, I've gotten the laser hair removal um, a couple times, but in treatment, they didn't, you know, let me just have razors, so I got little studs, but not much, and then, you know, the rest of my body and stuff like that, so it was annoying, but, um, go in the shower, and I, I, um, I can guarantee you my roommate and his girlfriend probably get annoyed with me, uh, the sun's coming out, that's what that light is, um, but, uh, I guarantee they get annoyed with me because I spent so long in the bathroom, but it's like, hey, I'm a girl, what else do you expect? Um, currently in the I actually also, as I showed you in my other video about washing your hair with extensions, I actually got more extensions and I currently have 11 extensions in my hair. Um, so if you want to 
check out that video on how to take care of your extensions. Uh, the video is on my channel. Um, you can find it there. Um, so, like, my, my, my whole main goal is to have surgery. And, you know, after getting out of treatment, I was like, okay, I can't let this stuff get to me. I got to do something, you know, because my main goal still is to have that surgery. You know, I've never once people uh, asked me, oh, have you ever hated this decision? Absolutely not. I love it. I waited so long for it. Um, you know, so I, 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 I never once had crossed that mind, had that mindset or it came into my mind where I was like, oh, I hate this. I love it. I would give up everything to be me, to have surgery, to, you know, um, be 100%. Um, that's why, like, they ask you, like, you know, when you even go to get HRT, you know, they, they make sure you're ready and make sure you're sure and never have any doubts. Um, I've only met a couple people that have had, you know, HRT and then they all of a sudden, they just go, nope, I, I don't, I don't want to do this. And they, they detransition. Um, which, you know, I support anyone in their choices that they make in life, but, you know, this is a decision and this is a, a choice, um, that I made. And like, it's not one of those things where you go back on it and it's really easy, you know, most transgender people this is who we are um, and some people are just scared to be who they are you know because of society and family and everything like that and you know my family's gotten better um, with my transition I know they're still a little awkward about it and um, work is still an issue but you know slowly dealing with that um, society we're never in or truly change society in their minds of us um, there's always gonna be those people that are uneducated who just are stuck in their old ways but, you know, if we as transgenders can group together and stay strong together, then, you know, we really have nothing to worry about. Um, and I've got a lot of support over my, um, through my transition and being in treatment and coming out of treatment. Um, so, yeah, this is my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to um, keep, uh, click the subscribe button at the bottom of the page. Uh, like this video. Um, leave me a comment if you want to. Uh, like I said, my social media um, links are down below. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, my mailing address is down below. Um, if you guys want to send me anything, you know, I'm more than willing to accept your guys' gifts or whatever. Um, you don't have to, but um, somebody asked for it, and um, so it's down there for you guys. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys on the flip side.